they just done forgot who the f they was dealing with. And that's a problem for them, not for you, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I'm almost laughing. And it's not right. I'm supposed to be sensitive, you know, spiritual. Fuck that shit. I'm fierce and I'm fabulous and I love it. Bam! I gotta make every effort I can to hold these bitches in. You know what I'm saying? I am so sick of having to hold in my fabulous for somebody else's inability to be able to handle it. I was channeling your energy the whole fucking time. Like I, like seriously, this is, this is that feeling. And I, you know what? Let me say this. It is not a feeling. It's not reactionary. It's not a feeling of impulsivity. It's a feeling of actually you stepping up and finally owning. Like I just saw your feet jump into shoes and be like, I needed to put these bitches on a long time ago. You got your stilettos on. You got your fear. I don't care if you're a man. I don't care. You got your fierce these boots are made for walking. That's what it is. These boots are made for walking. Fuck you. That's what you're doing. <laughs> like, that's what it feels like. Does it have to be with love and romance? No, man. You could have, like, the best spouse in the world. In which case, they're just going to support you. They're just going to support you. What I think happened is you really went through this, like, not dark night of a soul. Almost like a tender night of the soul. Of being, like, forgiving and tender and kind and wanting to listen and being considerate. And you needed to do that. You, for yourself, you needed to do that to be certain and sure of the situation because you are not an unfair person at all. If anything, like almost like, you know how Scorpios are always like stereotyped as like goths on the outside and no, is sometimes you wear your fierceness really on the outside and underneath there's that tenderness that you constantly hold really sacred and hold really dear and don't let anybody near, right? Or that close to. So ultimately, Scorpio, what was happening is a sense of your fairness, a sense of your... Um, um, tenderness, ability to accept people for all their imperfections, all of those things really playing out to the point where it wore you the f down and it wore you out. And you really, really tried. And not only tried, but you wanted love. You wanted to love, be unconditionally loving. You wanted to be concerned. You wanted to be caring. You wanted to be forgiving. It got you to the last nerve. And let me say this. If somebody's going to bring Scorpio to their last nerve, why do I feel sorry for you? Why? Why would I even feel sorry for you? Ultimately, sometimes it's just got, you got to accept people taking, people got to take responsibility for them damn selves. So there's a sense of that last nerve has been struck. And this isn't even like a flurry. This isn't even a flourish. This isn't even like a, I'm ripping you out, your heart out. It's not even like that. It's about you realizing that you got to do the best for you now. That it is time for you to step out and live to your full capacity and be everything that you can be and not make somebody else constantly first. It's got to be you first. So ultimately, there's a sense if you don't support me, I don't got room for you. But it is, I honestly think it's deeper than that. It's just realizing that somebody wasn't good for you. They, they weren't. And I feel like this is like male, female. You could think if you're females, this is a sense of you letting your aggressiveness out, letting your aggressiveness out and being like really formidable and sticking up for yourself and letting your fierceness out because it's, it's high tide, high time. But if, if you're a Scorpio male, this is a sense of, this is a sense of dealing with somebody, uh, like a female in your life. Of course, if you're a female, you could be dealing with also somebody who's extremely formidable. So, uh, oh, this is like a, an energy of a domineering, aggressive woman. And ultimately, there's just been some, like, real confusion. Like, you don't know how to handle it. You don't know what to do. Because ultimately, there was a sense of probably, I don't know, loyalty, right? Or a sense of concern for the person themselves 
themselves, a sense of this person may have stuck by you in the past. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And ultimately, this has come. There's there's just been a especially through the month of October, a sense of going back and forth with just trying being the absolute best of yourself, um, giving them the the fair advantage, giving them the you know almost like almost like. Um, I honestly feel that most of you just caught yourself about to implode recently. And like, that's really was the last straw. It wasn't this person. It was you realizing, oh shit, I'm about to fucking like throw blood on the walls or kill myself. Why am I here right now? Why? Because I just let this shit go too far. Because I haven't been right or okay with this circumstance for quite some time. And I really have done the, all that I can do to make it work out. The one thing that I wasn't willing to look at was, and we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. It just don't work. Because Scorpios, once you get into their heart, it's just like Cancerians. And so it's so hard for them to, like, it's like you guys will constantly find reasonings, find reasonings, find reasoning, find excuse, find excuse, find excuse. There is no excuse. This is, this is the awakening, that realization. I kid you not, these fucking cards, <laughs> these fucking cards fell out. Taurus full moon. And this is the second time in your readings that you've gotten this card. Hold on. This card. Now, you know as well as I do that that Taurus full moon just passed and it happened on Halloween. And I told you I knew it was going to be really significant for you guys because it was almost like only the moon could illuminate what's in the dark. And you tried to keep this in the dark for a real long time. But ultimately, there was this sense of read this, read this. Your dreams need a practical plan. You, like, all this like fairy tale belief or this um you know not not um optimism um idealism all that it's almost like that awakening came illuminated on halloween that awakening of like okay but realistically how does this shit work really if i'm just if i'm just being practical how does this shit work it doesn't. In terms of practical 3D, like the only place it works is in my mind, is in my imagination. It doesn't work outside of it. And that was the realization of realizing that this difficult person or situation that you were dealing with, the only place that it actually worked was when you made it up in your head. And you can get lost in your dreams and your romantic inclinations. You can get completely like drown, like drown, hold on, like completely drowning in them. Like not drowning, you can't drown. Uh, uh, you're the depths of the water, right? But, but like, no, but almost like in some ways drowning yourself, like keeping you down, not even letting you submerge even for a second, you know, not submerge, um, emerge for a second. There is just this sense of recognizing, bam south node energy as in this is my comfort zone this is my ooey gooey cozy cozy comfort zone but it's not where i belong it's not where i can stay it doesn't actually really work right it's it's the recognition of when i actually put this to the practical test what comes out of it nothing i get nothing it doesn't work it doesn't make sense it's that's what you were illuminating it's like that realization, and that was the beauty of the full moon. It was that realization of, holy shit, I've been backing myself into this corner. I've been doing it because I have been overcompensating with my sense of optimism, you know, my sense of, um, um, of idealism. I have been making excuses for this situation, but just practically, not, I'm not going to get mad about it. It's not even about anger. It's about just practically speaking. When I look at the practicalities of it all, does it fucking work? It doesn't fucking work. It doesn't fucking work. See, for a long time, this was definitely a person or something, probably a person that you really cared about. Listen to your heart. But this is like, this has a twist to it. Because ultimately, Scorpio, what this is saying to me is, listen to your heart. Were you really listening to your heart or were you listening to your ego and what was easier for you? Was it really your heart? Have you been listening to your heart 
this whole time? Was it your heart that was talking? I don't think so. You know, this sense of unconditional love. Okay, unconditional love. Unconditional love. Listen to your heart. Love them no matter what. Love them no matter what. Love them no matter what. Start over. Let's try again. Let's have a second. No. This is becoming free. This is a new beginning. A new beginning for you to experience unconditional love. Listening to your heart, knowing that unconditional love and this happiness was not going to happen for you if you stayed where you are. This These cards came out, a sense of being supported, time to feel joy, time to feel light, lightening up, time to like get out there and bring it to yourself and give it to yourself sometime around Halloween this happened and realizing that you need to show up to the best of yourself, not to the worst of yourself. You need to be um, all you can be. And ultimately, there is somebody in your life that was not allowing you to be all that you can be. This is about cutting ties, realizing what works for me, what doesn't, who works for me, who doesn't. Finally realizing I've grown up. I, like, even if I've been with this person or they've been in my life for years, there is just something about them that is not fucking working. I've got to let them go. It, it, it's all about getting balanced, rebalancing your life by being able to sort of set the standards or reset, almost like reset the standards and realizing you have a right to do that. You have a right to have different standards now than you did 8, 10, 20 years ago. You have a right to because you've learned, because you've grown, because life has changed right? You have a right to have different standards and want different things now. And your fierce sense of loyalty has really like kept you tethered to this idea of, especially if there's this real fierce person in your life, this sense of, well, I got to deal with their shit because I got to deal with their shit because sometimes in a way, it's almost like that ferocity is helping you clear yourself up. It could very well be that it's like that part of yourself that comes out when everything else is, is not working. But I honestly feel like, see, when I'm looking at these cards, this person, especially if she's a woman, could have offered you clarity at a time when you had no clarity. You kind of felt like, you you know, it's almost like they put the boundaries that you needed around you. There is just that sense of they set a level of clarity. But ultimately... Oh my God, it's like almost like Daenerys Stormborn, who we all love, right? She's a f fucking fantastic character. But ultimately, there was just a realization of, oh, she's not just fierce. She's just like a natural born killer. And ultimately, maybe that works for us for a certain amount of time, but it don't work for me anymore. If I keep this person in my life, she's going to actually start to destroy me now. Because this person, she, he, whatever... She, they're not going to change. Their behavior is not going to change. It's not like all of a sudden they're going to dumb down, right? It's like they're not going to change. And you, 13, 13, this is like divine counterpart. Recognizing and realizing that the time has come. That the time has come for you to step out of your comfort zone and make a move and make a practical plan for the future. Now, ultimately, this could very well mean that somebody's about to walk out of your life and you're making the decision, well, if I got to get married to keep them, I've got to get, like, it's almost like that. It's almost like a sense of, I got to make a decision that's right for me now, not right for me then. So whatever side you're coming from, whether you're that person who was constantly putting it off, constantly putting it off, constantly, but now you're going to lose them, you got to take action because you don't want to lose them or there's a sense of you're done with them but either way ultimately there's that sense of where are you now and that's what that beautiful moon on Halloween did it illuminated and made you completely connected to where am I right now and how do I honor who I am now not who I'm going to be not who I was 20 years ago or even a year ago who am I right now? And it got you to a place where you could actually fucking feel comfortable and a sense of recognition and realization of what I have to do to move forward. So now let's get into, I call it the main part of the reading. Ooh. So don't, don't be surprised if there are a lot of changes, 
But there are a lot of changes that are driven by you. And they're by you for you. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, what the heck happens? Okay. Yeah, see, there you go. So the mask came off. What comes out? What's the first card that's in my face? The mask came out and the rose-colored sunglasses came off. The masks fell away. This is the things that were hidden were revealed. And all of a sudden, it's like, was the love real? Or ultimately, um, was were the feelings the same? No. There was a sense of, in some ways, there being false feelings. It almost being fake. There was something fake about this situation. And I don't think it was intentionally fake. It's almost like subconscious. But ultimately, something, something whatever was not real... Whatever was not real got handed walking papers. Know your worth. This is about being proud enough to say, yeah, I'm a fucking skunk. Yeah, I like my fucking flowers. I'm going to be who I am. I don't need to make sense to you. But this is once again about being very, very... um like very, like very, very settled in who you are, very confident in who you are. This is Aries energy. So this could very well be a, an Aries in your life. This also could be um, like somebody trying to cover their stink in perfume or you trying to cover their stink in perfume for a long time. Ultimately, the stink has come out. The stink has come out. Okay. Let's keep putting this putting this together. There's a lot, man. I don't even know. I don't even know how to like deal with this. There's so much. Okay. Okay. Oh, some shit came out. You you've been holding back a long time, kind of keeping this stuff to yourself. This is Gemini energy. This sense of like, um, you maybe you've been holding back. You haven't been saying what you needed to say. It's about to come out. Um, you've been very, very careful with what you, it's almost like in some ways you felt like you had to tiptoe. You felt like you couldn't say what you needed to say. That's what it was. Um, overcome any obstacle. This is that Taurus energy pushing back against almost like forcing you to get real and forcing you to realize what deep inside of you, what you wanted to actually say what actually needed to come out of you. And ultimately I think it did overcome any obstacle actually sticking up for yourself, challenging somebody who was maybe domineering. Uh, watch your words and overcome it. This is Gemini Taurus, Gemini Taurus. Um, holy crap. Holy crap. So North Node, ooh. It says, don't let your past hold you back. The South Node, that's Sagittarius. And this is North Node energy, Gemini, right? You have to talk to somebody. There was that sense of having to have a real, like real conversation with somebody about their shit. Kind of confronting them. One-on-one -on -one communications. But it's also about be here now and move to the future. Be here in the present moment. That's what it is. It's almost like you start now. You start now. This is new love. But this is also being kind, being gentle. This is Virgo energy. But this is new love. This is compassion. Let's put it that way. I don't think this was about being aggressive. I think that this was about standing against aggression in some ways. Yeah. Like not allowing that shit to happen. Defending somebody almost in, in, in a way. Now, for many of you, it could be finally, finally defending yourself. Love is all around. There's definitely love here. You could be coming to somebody's defense with this energy. You could literally be coming to somebody's defense and speaking up and speaking out for them because maybe they didn't have words to defend themselves. But you're sort of proud of the fact that you came to their defense. And there's some sort of energy of like, whatever happens, I am, am I've got to say what I need to say. This is love is all around though. This is Gemini energy too. Hold up. Ooh, make your dreams real. This is manipulative energy, but this is scorpionic energy. You could have been holding back a love that you had for somebody. Primarily because you were almost being subjugated or bullied to like not express it in some ways. Like keep it down, force it down, don't say it. Like it, that's kind of what this feels like. 
It's like somebody sort of like, there. it's almost like somebody manipulating your love and manipulating your compassion. Ooh. Uh, learn from the past. Mm-hmm. This is Taurus energy too. You got a lot of Taurus energy here. I'll tell you why. Because you guys were in direct opposition over this Halloween. You know, the moon was in Taurus and the sun is in Scorpio. Direct, like, sort of illumination and understanding of what really is fucking going on. And challenging, challenging, challenging your ego. You know, what your mood, what your heart really wants and how it really feels and what's really best and what's really good and what's really practical. Is that what your ego has been allowing? There's a sense of really getting a whole, a, a, maybe a hard to, a pill that was hard to swallow over oh, just recently. That, But it woke you up. That was the point of it. To show you that, you know what? Your dreams are forward, not back. Public recognition. I feel like in some ways something just came out that firmed up or solidified how you felt about something or someone. And it's almost like you're real pissed about something now. And ultimately, even if you tried to hold it in, you're not going to be able to hold it in. I'm curious. I want to say be peace. This is no, no, no. You're bringing on the heat. This this is like literally in balance. This is also sort of like the love is gone. But not necessarily the love, it's the peace. You've been holding back in order to keep the peace. You're not doing that anymore. Ooh, it's about to come out. This is confidence. This is Leo energy, confidence and strength looking toward the future. Um, this is also the sun, your heart energy, right? Um, heart chakra energy. Your truth, okay? Magic works through you. This is Leo. This is Cancer. It's almost like in some ways there's Gemini and there's Taurus. It's almost like we got like a reverb, like a, a back. It's like we're going back. We're only going back one step. It's almost like we missed something. We missed a step. Be generous of spirit. Magic works through you. It's like reviewing. Hold on. I'll get it. Lion, spirit, scarab, beetle. Spirit. You are never alone. This is being supported or being supportive of somebody. But this is courage too. It's like courage is working the magic. Courage. Finding your courage is working the magic. And Magic works through you. Scarab beetles, you know, are like death and rebirth as well. Spirit has a plan. Okay. Give me a second. Claim your independence. This is Aries energy too. This is owning who you are. Not needing anybody else, being playful, sort of wanting your life to return to that sense of 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 being lighter, of being lighter, and we got that in the in the channel message too. Be fearless and bold. You just, I swear to God, is I feel like you just dumped an Aries. I do. I feel like you just dumped an Aries, or you just dumped a part of yourself that wasn't working for you. It's like, you, it's like you don't want to have to try so hard anymore to be something. You're letting that go. I don't have to try hard anymore. I don't have to explain myself. I don't have to try hard. I'm clearing that shit out. There is always enough. This is Piscean energy. Learning, realizing, understanding, wisdom. Not being so impulsive, but instead it's it's like maturing what I say it's almost like you took two steps back to be able to know and see where you needed to go and now you're heading in that direction because there's a certainty about you now there's wisdom here it's like realizing well what is love really what is success really what is it really it's that recognition and realization
that you're owning and accepting, even if that means people got to drop the fuck out of your life. You are definitely bringing the heat in some ways. It's like there's a little bit of discomfort here. I'm going to go to tarot. I got to jump to tarot. The link is below, but stick around for a second because, you know, I love to do the angel messages. Uh, this is a good time to say if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, Scorpio, please subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, you click that link below. Um, you can also find me on Instagram, born underscore without underscore boundaries. Um, I do daily readings over there, uh, for general energy. So please join us for that. Um, and of course, you know, the whole Vimeo site is jam-packed with so much really juicy content and that's where the link below will lead you so uh thank you so much for your support of the channel you guys know that you're the heartbeat of it of born without boundaries i'm so grateful for you um let's see what the angels have to say i just feel like in some ways you've been thinking too small you've been allowing yourself to be stuck because you were comfortable there and, and, you know, nobody can confront a, Storp, a Scorpio. Maybe that's why it's like the only one stubborn enough, the only energy stubborn enough to really confront a Scorpio is Taurus, which is your direct opposite, right? But in some ways, that means they have to be your direct equal. So ultimately, it took that moon energy and it threw in your face your truth. And even your truth, you can't fight. You're stubborn. It's the only thing that could get through your stubbornness. It was something that you were being real stubborn about real stubborn and it was not working for you it was like that stubbornness was based on an impractical alliance that didn't fucking serve you anymore and ultimately you had to get real about it sacred source we your angels are here to remind you of your magnificent you are magnificence you are literally an angel in the making really Literally, a being of eternal love and light, forever one with God, goddess, and all creation. So we're meant, this is about evolution and evolving and remembering that you're supposed to evolve and you're supposed to change and you're supposed to allow those things. Like there was a resistance coming from you to not change because that would have meant getting out of your comfort zone and confronting something that you were not comfortable with. Ultimately, that's what happened. And that's what kind of liberated you. Surrender. There is no point in pushing the barrel up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There is an easier way. When the time is right, a new path will appear. That's confirmation right there. That you were working overtime to sort of make something that wasn't working work. You were working overtime to do it. Oh, relinquishing that shit, surrendering it. Think global. You are being encouraged to spread your wings. Think outside of the square. You are a citizen of the world. Expand your vision. Imagine the world within your heart. Embrace it. Surround it with love. Let it be and so it will be. If you've had any hurts or been extra like kind of like Um, almost like, um, not extra enthusiastic, uh, obs extra obsessive, or you've been extra like, um, a fanatical about something. It's because you've been overcompensating. That's what it is. You've been overcompensating. There's just so sort of like an acceptance of the truth that you didn't want to understand because basically it's taking you out of your comfort zone it's it's like it's opening up your world in 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 a lot of ways um and there's a beauty in that creative potential you are by nature infinitely creative life is a sea of creative potential just waiting to be expressed through you you are free to express all your heart's desires there's a huge i feel like a cage just flew open heart song what is your heart saying? Stop and listen. Your truth lies within the empty spaces between your thoughts. Your truth shines through from within your soul. Your truth is that which is eternal and unchanging. Your truth is love. Oh my God. Let's get into that reading. Let's get into that romance reading too. The link is below. 
I'll see you guys over there.